Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and this is a game called Fade to Silence. Uh, if you've heard about this recently, it was because it was just announced at the Game Awards. It's available in early access right now, and uh, THQ Nordic reached out and asked if I'd be willing to partner with them on a few videos, and so I said yes. I, I was interested in this right away, and uh, I want to thank them for reaching out and offering to sponsor a few of them, so thank you guys for doing that. Um, for you guys, just before we jump in, there's a couple of things that I want to cover off uh, to kind of explain what Fade to Silence is all about. Um, it is a survival game. You could liken it to uh, The Long Dark would be like the best comparison, but there's a lot of monsters and it's a little bit more sinister, I would say. Um, the big thing is you're focusing on exploration, building your base, crafting, uh, making sure that you manage all of your resources so you don't die. The whole goal here is to see how many days we can survive. That's the name of the game. How long can we survive out here in the wilderness? Uh, there is combat. There's stealth aspects as well. Um, and then one of the things that I'm really interested in is working towards the full release. They're going to have like a big story um, element to this where you're going to have to not just take care of yourself, but you're also recruiting followers and you have to make decisions that's going to affect how those followers... Um, uh, react and how they operate within the game. So I'm excited to see where it goes. It's it is, as I said, it's very early access, but um, there's some pretty cool elements already. So I I dove in and tried it for about 10-15 minutes prior to recording this. Uh, but we're gonna start a new approach and uh, see how she goes. I'm playing on the PC. I'm using my Xbox controller. I've got all of the uh, all of the graphic settings and everything maxed out. Um, to try and give you a, as realistic a view of this as I possibly can. So yeah, here we go. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I should also say, um, I will have some codes to give away if you guys are into that. Um, if you're interested in a code, just uh, drop a comment below and I'll be picking a few random people to give those away to. Cold, pale flesh, a feast for maggots. But the maggots have to wait. I'm not finished with you. Not yet. You fail. I triumphed. A new cycle begins. Okay, so, uh... Go on and fight. But know this. When the last flame goes out, there's no <laughs> more resistance. So, uh, what the voice is speaking about here is these flames around us. Um, if you die, these one of the flames will go out. Uh, you have a certain number of lives before it's like game over, no more chances, you have to restart from the beginning. Uh, so it drops you in here with kind of nothing. Uh, we have this camp that's under attack, and we're gonna go check this out. Your work destroyed. No one remains. You are alone, sinking in a sea of corruption. I'll soon drown you. So it seems like we used to have a pretty good colony set up here, but that has since been destroyed. No weapons. This will end. So the combat, I could say, is like Dark Souls adjacent. We definitely have like a stamina bar that we need to uh, manage. We have the ability to dodge and parry. Whoa, okay. Little early. 
I'm not gonna lie, first time I attack I first time I fought him, he killed me. The strange crystals seem to repel the blight. Once cleansed, cleansing them may be your or repel the blight once cleansed. Cleansing them may be your last hope. Okay, this is great. Let's go. So we find these things, we gotta try and cleanse them before they before the little pus balls kill us. That it's constantly growing. Now that one is massive and it clears this giant area, but we're gonna find other th blight things to cleanse out there uh, to kind of repel um, the infection. So this is the main, these are the three main uh, prongs of the game. So survive, recruit, and cleanse. Uh, we need to find food, firewood, all your normal survival elements are here. Uh, we have to take rest, we have to eat, we have to get shelter, etc. Uh, there are followers that we can recruit and we can either have them with us in some type of entourage or we can have them doing other activities like chopping wood or getting food or hunting or whatever. You can also have them building up your, like rebuilding your actual base. Uh, and then we need to cleanse. We need to destroy corruption strongholds, secure outposts and conquer new territories. So we want to be expanding and uh, taking on as much as we can. So I know that we have a kind of main area up here Scrape. Eke out a life collecting sticks and bits of rotten food toil without ceasing or just lie down in your grave waiting peacefully for your inevitable end and this guy's a real chatterbox he's gonna keep us properly motivated <laughs> A safe place to rest. You just freeze or starve. All right, so let's rest. Uh, your current health recovers more quickly than your maximum health. Rest at a campfire or in a shelter to restore your health. So you'll notice uh, at the very end of our health bar, top left there, that there's some, uh, like, frost on it. Uh, we're gonna rest a full eight hours here. We took a lot of damage running towards that totem. So let's, uh, let's leave. Alright. So this is where the real challenge begins. Let's go out, let's start looking for things to do. Looking for materials to build things from. And hopefully just not die right away. <laughs> You're not even close to death. Live a little. I will say for early access, this looks pretty good. Uh, you can tell that there's like a little bit of optimizing that definitely needs to happen, but visually, it's pretty solid actually. I have a I'm running a GTX 1080 Ti, so it's arguably, you know, it's going to run as good as it possibly can here. Um, but as I said earlier, I've got everything cranked up to max to show you guys what it's really capable of. I see somebody down on the frozen lake there. And we do have this thing where we can kind of scan and we can find materials and such. Oh. Let's check this out. Corruptions oozing from their branches. This is the only weapon we have, unfortunately. So most trees have been blighted by the eclipse. What little hasn't been fully corrupted is a precious source of wood. If only you had an axe. Almost. So as you can see, like this, this torch, uh, that's not going to get us very far. We're going to need to craft new weapons. We're basically starting with, well, nothing. Okay, so there's a couple of highlighted things out here I'll point out. The green things are resources that you can grab. Uh, the yellow things are chests, um, backpacks, things that have been left laying around. Behind. 
And then the uh, red things are corruption points that you want to cleanse to kind of start taking control over that area. So we just got some firewood. We have another spitter. Let's go. I think we've pissed him off. Got him. So it seems like when he spits things, it, it like forms a little, one of those pus puddles, we'll call them, uh, for lack of a better term, but. All right, so we've got fiber and grub root. Um, this kind of leads us into the crafting system a little bit. Um, there's a few things we can do. So number one, we've got our we've got our map, and we can check out all of these little dots here are points of interest. Um, there's refuge, there's crystals, mining areas, hunting areas, wood cutting, etc. Uh, we will find places for uh, we will find locations of followers, and then we can go and recruit them. But you can see like there's a lot of these little um, kind of corrupted areas that we have to go and clear out, uh, which we will do. Uh, the other thing is that we have crafting in here. So on the on the right side is all of the different things that we can craft right now. If it's red, it means we don't have the uh, requirements. If it's blue or purple, it means that we do. So uh, we can make uh, fiber, which goes into other crafting things out of the grub root that we found. Uh, early on, I think it's best to try and get um, regular wood, obviously, so we can make a campfire. And then pristine wood, so that we can get into things like um, the axe or the uh, bow. We also need to make uh, a scrap metal sword. There's a bunch of things that we're going to need to be able to defend ourselves a little bit better, because running around with this torch, this ain't, this ain't going to be a long-term solution. If you're picking up on what I'm putting down. Alright, so let's see. Can we find anything else? Sometimes you'll go a while and not find anything, and it gets pretty stressful. We can go and try and clear some of this over here. If we get in there quick enough, we should be okay. I'm going in. So when you get here, you gotta spam A. The faster you do it, the faster you cleanse it. There we go. Alright, so we get some salvage out of this. Some Eldritch Essence. And the salvage is important for a couple of things. If we go into crafting, uh, we need this for our axe. So the only thing we need for an axe right now is pristine wood. That would actually be very helpful so that we could start to uh, chop some trees. Uh, let's go ahead and try and clear out this other one. Let's see where we go from there. You can see the frost is kind of starting to build on us because it's pretty cold. So if we can find another shelter, that would be ideal. We can always go back to the beginning. But, as you can imagine, it's, uh... takes more time. And time is of the essence. We'll take it. Thank you. Alright. Let's head east. Do we have any, um... Actually, here we go. We've got a shelter over here. So if we walk back this way... And along... If we take note of what we're gonna see on the way, like something... Uh, here... The one thing I... I don't think these go away once you... Uh, check the area. Those points of interest. All right, let's get in here and see what we can find. So cold, but then freezing to death is painless. 
All right, your maximum health will gradually decrease once you begin freezing, which is starting to happen. Okay, so we just found food, primitive arrows, and firewood. I will happily take that. In order to make a fire, we need... What is it? Ten? Yeah, we need ten firewood. So early on, that's uh, pretty precious, as you can imagine. Hungry. A slow death. Once you begin starving, your maximum health will gradually decrease. You can see that blinking in the top right there. Alright, arrows salvage a lot of firewood and Eldritch Remedy. A speck of the El Eclipse's power working in concert with its antagonist, Blightbane. Veritable panacea for whatever may ail you. Alright, so we are going to go to that shelter that we saw on the map. And it, like, shines down this giant beam from above, so you can pretty easily find what you're looking for. You can tell it's getting a little frosty here, but we'll be able to recruit. Hello! One more, one more. Okay, more firewood, more primitive arrows, very nice. Just lay down and die. See how motivating he is? I'm telling you. Alright, perfect. So we have some stuff right outside the shelter as well. Firewood, primitive arrows, grub root, and we've got a chest in here. Beautiful. So another torch, Eldritch Essence, a roiling sliver of the Eclipse's power. Use it with caution. We have some food, a bunch of firewood, and some arrows. So we actually have quite a bit of firewood, which is nice. Let's uh, let's fuel this up. Actually, I think we need to make we need to actually make the fire first. Uh, so let's go in here. We need to create campfire. Take and then we can fuel it. Of so you can see already in the top right, our temperature is, uh, is getting much better. Way more under control, but we'll just rest a little bit. We could do some crafting while we're here. Let's see what we have available. Uh, we do have enough to make more torches, but I think we'll hold off on that. Uh, ideally, we get some wood and we uh, make an axe. That would be absolutely crucial. Uh, we could eat. We could make um, we could make some food, but I believe we have some in our inventory. So let's uh, have a bite here. It went down a little bit. I think that's okay for now. And let's just rest for like... Let's see what an hour does for us. Okay, that's totally warmed us up. We're looking pretty good. Our torch icon in the top left um, is still pretty strong. So I think we're actually okay. I'm not, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, a um, couple of things we could do. Like, we could look at big goals, like this eclipse. Probably not wise. Uh, even a an outpost like this is probably super difficult to deal with. Um, within the vicinity, I think we just continue to look for, um, well, anything that we can. But ideally, we find some pristine wood. The memory of this feast we'll cleanse what we can along the way. Sweet. Let's go. Come on. Got it. Now, sometimes monsters will show up around this, which makes it a little bit more uh, stressful, obviously. Here's a spitter. 
We could try and stealth by these guys, but... One more of those should do. Got him. What do we have here? More firewood. This is just like leftover corruption or blight. Now, I believe the way that we get pristine wood is primarily from actually chopping trees, believe it or not. Uh, we have a hunting area up here, but we can't hunt yet. So, what is this? I think that must be... That must be a bit of a bug, because it's now saying that that eclipse thing is right on our... Right on our shelter. So, I think that's probably a bug, but that's okay. Let's keep looking. So sleeping hunter, you'll never shoot in time to kill. Okay, so there are deer in the area. Uh, they haven't been fully corrupted. That's great and everything, but we can't do anything about them until we find a bow or until we create a bow. So let me grab this stuff. Even if it's not in the point of interest, I'm going to grab, like, whatever we can just to help us along the way. Wandering around a blizzard will quickly freeze you to death. It's minus four. Um, but we probably shouldn't stay out here for too long if we can avoid it. What do we have going on in here? Do we have to, uh, I'm thinking we'll probably have to redo this torch. Let's go in here and check it out. Hmm. Let's try this. I'll get into that screen a little bit later once we find, uh, followers. So firewood and fiber. I think this is just going to create another torch for us. Maybe we have to... I bet you we have to relight it at a, uh, a fire that we create. So I'm not sure what this one is. What this is leading us to, but I'm going to check this out. With only a wooden stick to guide us. Take this. Some salvage. Copper ore, won by a metaller just from a soft chalcolite deposit, can be ground up, concentrated, and smelted into copper. Okay. I like that. Do you feel the icy breath of the storm? I mean, yes, I do. We gotta find shelter now. Use the Eclipse's eyes to look for blue light pillars. Okay, so when we're in here, it's gonna show us... Oh, interesting. So that's new to me. Yeah, it's getting pretty rough out here. There's the blue safety pillar that we need. Let's just go back to our... To our hut. Frostbites first, then Once you begin freezing, your maximum health will gradually decrease. We can just create a fire here, but uh, we're just going to go to our hut. We might call it as, as our first day. 
There's a lot to manage here. There's a lot to manage. For people that are, like, really comfortable with games like The Long Dark, it's probably going to click for you right away. Um, for others, maybe not so much. All right. Let's rest up. Let's do a solid four hours and see what, how that does for us. Not bad. Not a lot. Now we're out of fuel. So as you can imagine, like, once you start burning through your fuel and you have these blizzards and all these other things that are keeping you on the go. It's gonna get pretty stressful, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling the stress already. Let's do another, uh, four hours. Alright, weather event has ended. Beautiful. And now we could head out. All right, so uh, does it actually show us in here? I don't know if it shows us what day we're on currently. Uh, let's check this last screen that I was going to show you before. So the overview, uh, let's maybe check event log. Daily consumption. Okay, so we're on day two. All right. So this is our followers thing, and eventually when we find followers, it's going to track their morale, their health, their hunger, cold, exhaustion, and we have to like we have to manage that. So not only are we managing us, but our team of followers as well. Um, inside of our resources here, we are going to have daily consumption that will build up over time of food and firewood, and then our event log tracks like literally everything. It looks like. Um, so if you really want to get into the nitty gritty. You can do that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so this is... We made it past day one. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, but we have a lot of work to do. So really, it's all about finding some pristine wood. Uh, we have another shelter out here, and I think working towards those other shelters is probably good. This has moved now. Maybe this is just something that moves around. I don't know. Maybe it's something that moves around. Maybe it's not a bug. Could totally be the case. Um, but the good news is we're starting to find, like, some places for, um, cutting down trees, some hunting, some mining. We just don't have the tools yet to do that. So I think the next thing we do is we're going to head towards this area, check out a couple of the spots along the way, and then find this other shelter. And we'll just keep going until we find, uh, followers that we can recruit, and then those guys can do some of the work for us. And hopefully we start to find some of the materials we need to actually uh, build the items which will help us with getting those other resources. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, go check this game out on Steam. I'm going to do a few videos of this and uh, see how far we can get. I don't know, man. I These type of games, they stress me out a little bit, but I think that's by design. Um, but I'm curious to know if you guys have any success with it. It is early access, and so there are definitely some things they could optimize. You'll probably notice in some of the video uh, that things could be a little bit cleaner. But uh, overall, for a first early access release, I think we're in a pretty good spot. So thanks again, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, as I said, uh, we are giving away a few copies of this. So just leave your comment below, and I'm going to randomly pick people in the next week or so. Uh, to give these copies away to. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.